Vega Squadron go for a Lycan as their one position. I guess not too concerned about Rasta, that. Rasta, bot lane, getting whacked. One more. No boots even. I don't know, that's just simply level one Degenera. It would have just run him down. Rasta is fairly slow, of course, early on. Rubik. Oh, ho, ho, they are going to get the kill actually on Shadow Pay. I didn't even notice Queen Pay was sitting up there. No, I doubt it. Especially since Tiny is getting just as much freeform as he is. And so Tiny's going to start moving around rotation, teleport from Nature's Prophet in the mid lane. G taking so much damage. There's a lot of those TPs, though, including that shapeshift form. Big Pearl Strike stun on two heroes. Down goes Queen of Pain and Rubik. I don't see him getting out of this one either. He'll lift actually on a like and putting him over the ledge, but just going to delay the inevitable. He's a stick. Yogi. I don't know why he's not toggling his defensive null field. Not that it would probably make a difference, but... Yeah. Lycan just trying to mow down towers as quickly as possible, but right now he's not at that point. Bot tower goes down to Tiny, and top tower is getting... Oh, where did G die? I oh, got that. That was middle lane. And Vega have no towers taken, as now Palantimos initiated on. Nice cancel. Oh, he kind of stopped the there. Oh! No. He does go down. That was originally the concept with the Helm of the Dominator when it first came out in 7.0, because it was like, you don't get lifesteal anymore, as now there looks like there's going to be a fight on the mid lane that Death, Death Ward is doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> it's tickling silent at that point. He bought the Shadow Blade. The Rasta Wards are put down. Rasta himself in a little bit of trouble, but he does a job of the Sonic Wave on multiple heroes, including the Omni Knight and the Shadow Fiend. They both explode shortly after silent. He's just going to TP out of the midst of them. No, the cast will eventually stop. Will they even get the kill on him? No, it doesn't look like he's cutting through the trees. Yes, they will, but at what cost? Palantimos goes down a 5 for 2 fight. Is that was he nice. actually going to get away? Any TPs? Oh no. Oh wow. Oh no. FN. Okay, they finally get the kill, but they went so far for this. And now, yeah, yeah some turn potential. FN's going to blink in. Gostic's here as well, of course. You got Yoki in the back lines. He's looking for a chance with the invis. Gostic taking damage with the death ward. Finally going to be stopped, though. And Yoki, sure enough, lifts up. Aloha Dance throws him over, but... Burl Strike back on over, but he's going to hide in the sandstorm that he's still right there. He's going to survive for now. What an escape here from Yoki himself. So Ross is so far the only one dead on Empire side. They get three. Shadow Fiend's going to try to TP. That ain't going to work. Triple kill for FN. And I think that, uh, that GG call is looking appetizing now for Vega. <laughs> we got a shapeshift straight up, but Radiant has vision on this cliff. So let's see how Silent deals with this. <laughs> And, and here's the thing, they have stuns, but no, it is just silent by himself. He was left, wasn't he, by Rasta? But he's just gonna run out of range of the Death Ward, they don't have vision! Do they have dust, anything? Yeah, no, it's a necro creep oh, giving vision. Yeah. It's like Radiant want to turn it, they pick up the Witch Doctor. Shadow Fiend, the struggle bus continues, man. Still on the ride. He goes down once again, the Sonic Wave, Witch Doctor falls to well. off. Helen beating down Rubik, actually, out of the shapeshift form, so he will come right one second. he Ooh. cannot TP out. Due to the Rubik cult. He will get the kill on Rubik with the minions at least, so. Kind of has a laugh right there, I'm sure. But the Ryu, wow. There's that auto attack damage, man. You that was like seeing that damage? Minutes. It's crazy. I mean, to crazy. be fair, Sand King is very, very underfarmed, as we said before. But, like, this is, like, he's pushing like crazy. And now mid lane, another chain orchid? Chain it? <laughs> oh, oh, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Auto attacks go through repel. I, you know... While we're in this kind of overtime phase, um, speaking of the patch like notes... Lycan, mid lane. He's dead, sure. You can talk about it. Um, speaking of patch notes. Yeah, the neutral Ancients Gold Bounty reduced by 10%. Uh, yeah. I found that one to be a little interesting, and that, that could be a, you know, it's a slight nerf to some of these cores, like a Medusa, for example. Jowacopter, who heavily rely on those Ancient stacks. Big Squadrons may still pick another mid hero. Like DK, other heroes around it as well, and every everyone just kind of yeah. Know, there's a power the creep for sure. Bit. Yeah, exactly. So, all right, but the game is back. They're going top lane. Top Jakiro lane. in trouble. He's definitely dead here. That's gonna be first blood. He's like, all right, you got me. I'm gonna distract you. Nope. The lane's definitely shaping up pretty pretty good for Vega. At least winning two lanes so far. Top lane though. Lizzie's in a little bit of one. trouble. They have a toss, but they don't need it. Yeah, not when he oh, there we oh, go. There's a toss. <laughs> the toss. There's nightmare team. available, and avalanche will be up in a few good. seconds. <clears throat> Second, he's just gonna go for the toss though. Brain sap. Better choice. Yeah, that's that done. Well, looks good. like Earth Spirit needs another nerf. So, wrap around middle lane. Good, good, Harry. Once again, they go on a dragon. I pop the other dragon for him. The teammate support is taking him forever to get here, it feels like, but it's going to be in time in the end. The Nightmare to save Queen oh, Pain initially. Nightmare. Is it going to be enough? Probably not. Maybe it is. The oh. blink away. FN still alive. The scream at the last second. The uphill attack missed, but still just too much dot 
and he will go down. Miposhka now on the run. Here comes that Razor. Eye of the Storm activated, and there's that Pulse Plasma Field even. See Vega Squadron moving us uh, accordingly. Ooh, However, Palantinos. the jump is... Oh, they try to smoke themselves in the last second. They're going to be jumped, though. Jakiro does get jumped by Silent. The combo comes out. The vacuum, no wall just yet. He actually doesn't have it still, but not, it is enough damage to take out Shakira in the back lines. Magnetize activated. Onto Razor, another toss from Silent, toss back and forth as Rubik actually stole it. That's why we saw the double, but Tiny does end up falling, so Empire not really in the best position here. They just want to run, but FN, he gets caught by the Blink Dagger of G. Oh no, he just actually ran at him. I thought he blinked in right there. Double kill from G as a result. See, he just happened to blink right into the area. Because, oh, well, that's now G. Let's see if he can kill him. Great primal split though, can he stop? Yes he will with the boulder, G. Pretty tanky, Dragon Tail Sun on a Queen of Pain, here comes the Fade Bolt and then plenty supporting cast. The Nightmare on a Razor, not gonna be enough though, Queen of Pain will die. Boulder smash on multiple heroes in the back lines. But Yoku, he's gonna have to start running himself, although Jakira is taken out as a result, but Bane, he falls oh, down nice to toss. toss from Rubik. He tosses in Razor to Yoku, and all of a sudden he's gonna be melting away. That static link, one Murado attack should do it. The Pulse finishes him off with the Plasma Field actually. Do they know? I, oh, they see him. Yeah, that, well, he just used it right there, actually, to get away initially, but now he's uh, looking for the turn with the toss. Actually, has team support. The wall, the vacuum coming out. The shroud on top of it with the Sonic Wave doing plenty of damage. Dragonite having to pop the other dragon form, trying to run away. The Magnetize also ticking down. Sign with the toss to finish him off. No, G will survive for now. The Magnetize still on and finally will start regening up and be fine. And Razor's just cleaning up in the midst of the fight. Underneath an enemy shrine is now G is still kind of deep here. They're going after G, and they're going to finish the job, actually. Gostic getting credit for the kill there. And Silent initiating onto the Jakiro. Oh, gonna kill Jakiro off the bat. Silent though, needs to be careful dying himself. Bane will get picked off. First Spirit just trying to roll away. He'll be fine for now, making the escape against G, as well as Blizzy on that Brewmaster. Another fight taking place in the middle lane. Now, big Sonic wave on Turos right as I go to it. Rubik's gonna fall as a result. Helen Timos, can he actually run away? Maybe blink in. They do eventually finish off the Earth Spirit, but in comes a Shadow Strike. And it's a slow Roche. Still, nothing has really changed. <laughs> Elder Dragon form once again. Oh, and what did he steal right there? He stole the scream actually, but Rubik in trouble. The Sonic Waves is still that bitch. Oh, nice. Gets the Fiend's kill good. right off the bat onto him right there. Fiend's good off to the side. He got Silent. He's thrown up in the air. Dealing with Pelantimos, draining all of that damage. Silent just simply has to keep on running. Maybe get some teammate support. That BKB is not helping too much, so the physical damage is going to be intense and will be enough to finish the job. Okay, well, so I'm glad he went for the interval regardless, but with an Agonim Scepter, it's going to be that much better as. Oh. Uh oh. Whoa, where's the that, grip? What? <laughs> that was oh. a huge toss into the grip. It does come a little bit late. He got the PKB off, actually. Vacuum used by Rubik, actually, right there with oh a counter what a smash. Vacuum. With the wall and the Sonic Wave gets two kills off the bat again. The supporting caps. Brewmaster can eventually take down to the Magnetize. Eye the Storm still active from Helen Timos. He will die in the midst of it. They got the kill in the dark here, but everyone else is still up ready to go for Empire. G just keeping on the outlines with the Elder Dragon form. And Razor tossed up as soon as he resurrects from the Aegis. A nightmare to help put him in place and finish the job eventually. A couple of auto -tics. Oh my god, what? he's actually getting away. A Queen Not of Pain yet. finally finishes off with a scream. Can they chase down G? Yet Silent and Yoku over here want to finish oh, his off. Oh, Blink Dagger's canceled with that with urn. Wipe. Let's go. It's the, the long toss. chase. Blink, one second. There's a toss. There's the avalanche. Man, is he beefy. It's gonna, t it's gonna take a while, but they're gonna get it. And they complete the wipe out, AKA Annihilation. A dire team just wants to retreat Empire, so let's get the hell on out of here. Earth Spirit, unfortunately, gonna be Caught though by the storm brewing, perched on and, down has his own yules, and Ghostic That's on the left side as well. Out. He's hemmed in right now. He's gonna go oh, down. Yeah, Ghostic. TP? No, that's not. Good. So, couple of picks. Vega Squadron actually. Pretty much everything is up. Although I the storm's not. It's 15 more seconds before it's off cooldown. Tiny. He's uh, gonna be going in there, but the BKB. And yeah, Vega really is just making I a the storm, right man. That axe effect. Rain Drax melts, Melee Rax going down, FN feels like he has to fight, pops to BKB, Palantimos is picked off, Aegis is going to bring it back up, Sonic Wave, I don't even know if that really hit necessarily, but Jakiro does go down nonetheless, Palantimos, he's back up though, and Darkseer caught in the midst of it, the wall, unfortunately just not doing enough, and he'll explode, he buys back pretty quickly. Allows in that this is a last stand now of sorts for Empire. The Boulder Smash going on through, they're going to be able to pick up Brewmaster perhaps, no problem split or anything, yes, they get the kill on him, Gostic. He follows it up with a vacuum and the iron shell on top of that too. G now, being heavily slowed actually. He has a BKB and cheese. Nah, he's not gonna use it. Not gonna use either. Not worth it. I I don't. That that seemed odd. Darkseer is dead. This is Mega Creeps. That's probably game. Yeah, GG's called. I mean, Vegas Squad. All the credit to them for sure. But 
That, that final fight especially just seemed like a very, very odd em team. Empire seems like an emotional team. Against yeah. that Brestomons game, like, I, they True. they basically just gave up. That's fair. Gostic gonna be playing the clockwork here, so he is gonna be in the off lane. Blizzy gets an easy level two. Yeah, they do have Bane middle lane, but man, this is a three-man gank early on. The Shackle's coming out, but the Nightmare will stop it immediately, so... And now that, that's pretty big because FN, he was in some trouble. Now the turn kill potential on the G. G's having a run. Couple more auto attacks. Eats the tree. It's not enough. Miposhka. Credit for first blood. However, nice shackles in the tower range. At least get the turn kill on a Yoku. Like, if Slayer, if he baits Slayer into going in for a shackle, like, Slayer will definitely go for it because you've got Rocket Barrage up. Huh. So they're going to go well, now onto the Shaman. Yeah, that works too. Shadow Shaman trying to counter ward. Unfortunately, it gets him killed. Why? What is. Wow, Bane's going to Hook really shot is up. And okay. Ghostic has a double damage run. A lot of TPs. Though, Tide is expect. level six. Oh, Ravage! But he gets the mana burned. burned. But he uses the stick. He gets the mana back. They get the kill on a Clockwork. Palantimos will live. And now it's Empire, the one that's running. Bane as well as an X Assassin. Yeah. So you could tell what they were going for, but it took just a bit too long to ultimately set up right there. Yeah. And now Bane's dead. And but now there are too many heroes. Baiting him back in, but Bane is there. As you mentioned, too many heroes. Gostic, he has a hookshot ready as well. They got to come with Poshka. Maybe try to make a play on a Razor now, but he pops the eye of the storm. Here comes the Raven from Poshka. Slayer's actually still alive, even. Puts out the shackles, ends up getting the turn kill on a Nyx Assassin, and Gostic will also fall. Playing the clockwork. Poshka, all of a sudden, he's having a run. Has a Fiend's Grip. Want to maybe go for another turn here. Silent, ready to go in as Knock well. Around. But Tide not the most ideal target. They do get the kill, but at what cost? Now they're running away. The Rocket Barrage in the face of Bane. The Poshka going the other direction says, if you want to kill me, you got to run over here. But they say they don't care. And they kill Tiny. The Courier instead. getting vision. I like this. I like this. <laughs> they can shield it whenever they want. Uh, there, there we go. go. That's awesome. Very well played with the shield. And he, I'm not saying he's committed towards it from that level 10 talent, but it's possible this game. Yeah, and he does have Blink Dagger in his quick buy, as now G goes down to, man, this is this is high, high impact movement coming out from Silent. Everywhere he goes, it's creating chaos, as now Slayer on the run. Well, you notice the theme right here, I mean, Empire, when they're able to find the, the core's kind of individual with no response. Oh, as they say that, maybe Tiny they walks are. into a sentry ward. But Razor, he's going to get caught out. Vendetta auto attack opens up Got with it. the Impale. There's the Avalanche hitting as well, of course. The toss in the air. And that triple raise. Triple raise. Well Give me some more up. on this sh Shadow Shaman. Bonk. Tiny's still going to find somebody. That's the Gyrocopter even. That's the best target, really, to find for a free kill. So, yeah, that Vega squad got really scattered there, running towards the Dyer's base even. It's, it's just very on right now for Vega. In fact, Rasta's gonna be completely Slayer. cut. I don't know what he's planning. I'm, I'm not quite sure either. He, I mean, he put the wards down, gonna do a little bit of damage to tier two. It just don't, doesn't feel like that's worth the trade though. No, it's not. Cause that's one cooldown down and now Silent what? flies the Rubik. I don't... Couple of or do the lines. gank. Or, or just do the gank. Yeah, Shadowfin's running in even. They are going to catch Tiny. The Shackle's locked him against Status Resistance. He's out pretty quickly. The Ravage on top of that. Tiny's still taking good damage, and he will fall to the lane on top Ooh, of that down time, for that whole time. But now that in trouble. Yeah, 10 more seconds. That's not going to work. He ends up exploding, actually. The call done used from G. Doing a bit of damage. Gostic. He's having to get out. The toss. Oh. Razor in. Going for a kill. Maposhka getting low, as is Yoku. Yoku just going to try to get killed by Rosha, maybe? No, he blinks away, actually. The Roshan Payment Poshka. The toss, that's a big target. It's a slam on your face. Ouch. Because if he had like a Scotty, which he actually he is going for Scotty, so he might. Oh, lifted. Uh, okay. He's going to run away. Pops to be Kabisa. So screw it. We got to fight oh, this. Tide right. Hunter. Right on top of he jumped in. He's like, oh crap, this is a bad decision. He's got a Ravage to use, though. Shadow Fiend will keep running. Nobody dead just yet. A lot of BKBs going off, especially on the Radiant team. All their cores. And in fact, Clockwork will escape. What is over here? Tiny's going in to clean up. Picks off Rubik, but now Silent. Did he overstep? Homing Missile channeled onto uh, the Bane over there. Tiny going to toss away Razor. Keep on running. Has another Silver Edge in five seconds. Okay, Nyx Assassin was left behind. Hunting for it. They, they don't have vision right now. There's a Rocket Flare. 
Is he gonna go in? Yes, he is in the no back lens on a Rubik right there. The pushback as well. Nick oh. trying to finish off the double push. He goes down the fiends. We have locking the racer in the oh. midst. That's the rock. We have right on top. Razor's melting away. A couple more auto attacks to do him in. And that's the whack from Tiny to finish the job. Jarcopter buys back. Razor does have a buyback. He's in the corner right there. The Ravage coming out, but the BKB of Tiny prevents him from being hit by it. The Jarcopter is BKB wearing off. Taking out Gostic. No, the Nightmare to save initially. He's going to be alive for the time being. The team support is real. These Bane Nightmares pretty clutch themselves. Nick's Assassin, he's too far up. Pops the spiked carapace, start running away. Silent, they get the range rack, or the melee racks even. And now they're going to fall back. You see several heroes very low on life. So it's understandable they want to chase, but the cogs will prevent it in full. Not that it really changes anything. I mean, it's it's daytime, so that's like part of the reason why they smoke up right now, because you may be able to pick... Oh, nice hook. Go. Get Rasta, he's dead right off the bat. He got his wards down at least, so able to do that. Gostic, the blade mills up. He got Rubik also. That's Razor, excuse me, in the back line. That was so fast, I thought it was Rubik for a second. Jarcutter was locked down by the Fiend's Grip, though. FN just puts in the pound onto him, and now he's gonna go for Tidehunter as well. Razor trying to reset. He gets caught with the hook shot. He's dead with the die back as the Jarcopter. And that GG well played is being officially called Empire. Gonna take game number three. Oh no, the carapace, he can't even kill FN. <laughs> Not that it wouldn't matter because he had Aegis anyway. Minor but victory. Minor victory. Not so much at the end. You take what you can try to get, but yeah. Empire were giving them nothing this game.